and I thought I'd um, go over what's in my backpack for uh, <clears throat> for cutting um, firewood. I use. Um, this uh, is a uh, custom made. My son Matthew made it for me. Wood carrier. Um, just leather on one side, canvas on the other. Um, you're able to pick up a nice load with it that goes over and across your back, over your shoulders and across your back. And you hold it um, with one hand and you can fill it up. I've used it already and there's video of it and um, I'll probably have video of it tomorrow as well. So I bring that every time now. It's really handy. I usually bring uh, this little Ganserford uh, Brooks um, hatchet. Um, I mainly use it for uh, debarking uh, the split wood if there's any bark left on it. I bring my Ganserford Brooks. It comes in handy um, as well. Um, I usually bring this when I go winter camping to split wood. Um, I haven't been using it much to split wood, cutting firewood, because I have a better splitter. I'll show you that in a minute. <clears throat> I've added uh, some paracord and epoxy to the uh, to the neck here um, through various. Uh, misplaced uh, swings, um, it started abrading the uh, the wood there. It seems to, uh, to hold up well. That's the uh, Gansford Brooks Forest Axe. And then I bring, um, this is new this year to me, this is the Gansford Brooks uh, Splitting Mall. And that sucker, well, when I first got it, it could shave you. It's still pretty sharp. Um, I like the collar, um, protective collar on it. It's the shorter one. Um, they have two. Um, this is a shorter handle. But it really does a nice job <clears throat> splitting. There's some video of that. I'm sure I'll get more of it tomorrow. So um, I bring uh, three axes or hatchets. Um, I have a, a silky saw, um, which is nice. It's good for uh, smaller size diameter wood, and it cuts pretty fast. I'll bring this um, canoe camping, and um, sometimes I bring it running, but I have a I have a smaller baco folding baco that I'll bring when hunting, but I'll bring that as well. A pair of gloves, Carhartts, they're extra large, um, they're okay gloves. You need a nice pair of leather gloves. You go through these pretty fast, but definitely wear gloves. I have a couple um, splitting wedges, or wedges, um, to uh, keep the uh, the wood from binding uh, when I'm doing a cross cut, I have four of these, and um, I bring uh, this this dissolve it contractor solvent um, to spray on uh, the blades of the saw after they've been in the wood a while. Pitch will build up on it and um, this is recommended as a good solvent. Um, you, you, you duly notice the difference with, um, after you spray it on, on, on the saw. And, and once the saw is deep enough um, and you can put a wedge in, um, start a wedge um, against the back blade, not to hit the blade of the saw, um, to keep the wood separated enough. And, it's very noticeable um, in the push and draw. And here are two handles for the, for the saws. Um, 
so um, momentarily. I usually bring some uh, ivy. This is um, a moisture meter. And I'll use it tomorrow. It's fun to, to uh, take the moisture content of the wood you split. And if you're, if you're able to get back to it before you decide to burn it, um, I've, it's, it's, it's nice to know that it, that it's going to burn. <clears throat> I've had it as high as 30%. And just in uh, four months' time up here, even with um, in the deciduous forest and a lot of heavy cover, um, it's um, the wood has dried out to uh, to around uh, 14 or 15 percent. So last year um, was the first year that I burned uh, wood stashes, um, and they burned really well, and it was convenient. This year I'll have. I'll have four, four different stashes, two for uh, two weeks of uh, hunting during a week of muzzle loading and a week of regular season. And then um, I'm, I plan on doing at least another um, week solo um, winter camping trip. But I, I have that as well. <clears throat> and that's about it. it um, I had it on the back basket. Modified, I had it for years for decoration, and I decided to start using it. This is just some paracord. It's measured to uh, um, 18 inches, 16 inches, 16 inches from from here to here, um, to help gauge the the length of the the cut for my wood stoves. Oh, I didn't show the saws yet. So the first saw. Um, this is my smaller, smaller. It's a distant um, cross Most of them are old antiques, they're restored. Distant cross cut saw, a nice three foot saw. <clears throat> you can't see it, but it's got a nice, uh, a nice emblem. Nice etching, I should say. Nice etching here. Um, distant Champion um, Keystone K954. Distant Champion saw. Uh, these were professionally sharpened and restored by Dan DeWicky. Both my saws are from Dan. Five foot one is in the boat. Maybe I'll go get it here in a second. Maybe I won't. That's about everything except for the five and a half foot distant. This takes on the bigger. Five and a half feet. I guess I could probably go through the picnic table and real quick. No, I won't do that. And then I'm having while I'm doing this little topic discussion here, a few swigs on Knob Creek. Cheers.